Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through uh, how to install uh, how to use JWT in Node.js and uh, this is the site that I'm gonna uh, walk you through that is JWT.io. You can visit this site. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, there are three things that that will be the part of uh, JWT. The first thing we call it header the next one is payload the third one is verify signature so you see this dot uh, it is separated by these dots the first one is where you define your algorithm types there are a bunch of algorithm types this is one of them uh, type of course is jwt we are using the next one where we provide the general information okay like name email this kind of but not uh insecured things like password uh anything related to amount in billing so we don't use for that this is for basic information that we use if you make any changes in here uh you will see this real time uh changes in here okay i'll try to make this change you will see it's getting updated okay the pink one later here you have to provide your secret i'll say mahesh one two three this is my secret so it's getting updated in here so yeah this is pretty straightforward now we'll directly jump into the code uh so i have this vs code already open in here now i'll quickly start with installing or making new project you can use yarn or npm currently i'm using npm so let's use the express okay so npm install express uh maybe dot env later not needed i guess for now uh and of course uh, jwt maybe i'm gonna use a jwt so json web token is needed so json web token that's it i guess for now so oh sorry i haven't initiated the project so you can use npm init hyphen y so let me see package.json not generated yet npm init hyphen y now you see package.json is there now i should use this command again so it will add two things into the json web token i'll have a start command which will say nodemon maybe we'll use or hyphen hyphen watch you can use so nodemon uh, index.js and for that i'll have to install a dev dependency that is npm install hyphen capital d node mon this is it i guess now i'll have to create a new file that is index.js i'll say so you can click here as well so index.js which will uh so i'll quickly start with the code quickly so const express require express the first one later on jwt which will require json web token the next one would be const app okay which is your express app later you will have a const port you can define anything for now hard coded 3000 would be better for me uh, later i'll start with the app.get and here i'll have this uh, the first one actually api slash token where i'll get this token uh, that's it i guess then you will have a normal request response with arrow operator you can define your const payload payload as i told you it can be anything uh, like my name mahesh maybe uh, that you wanted to hide const uh secret and that secret will contain your of uh, mahesh123 any secret that you wanted to go ahead with const uh, it should come from uh environment file actually so token and that token will contain a jwt dot sign payload that will take a payload as a first parameter secret as the next parameter and you can define the expiry here expires in uh, so that can be one hour for now uh, of course it should be five minutes or, or less than that if you are using 
for any government side it should be better uh, uh, it should always be less than 15 minutes so res.json okay and that json you can replace your token in here so or status you can define in here okay status whatever you want like status 200 maybe so this is it i guess this is for the first tab now next tab would be the gate that will contain a api slash verify and that verify will take again request response and that request response you can let me increase the font size okay uh this is it now i'll go with checking the headers okay because the token that will come from request dot headers and that headers uh, uh i can define authorization in here and if that exists then only i'll split it with space okay uh and that space uh, I, I need to take the first uh, authorization part okay if that exists in there otherwise i'll i'll say it's not there so now const secret and that secret uh i'll have to define again in here the same secret that i have used in here so i'll grab this from here to here and here we go the next thing would be try catch of course i'll have to wrap this into the try catch const i'll say decoded and that decoded uh is equals to jwt dot sign or dot verify actually uh, that's how you verify this is in built method where you pass the token along with your secret and that secret uh will return your data okay so i'll say arias dot status again that status would be 200 and dot json that json will have your uh, you can say like valid valid true or something in here and uh, you can pass data and that data can be decoded decoded data i i should use so if something goes wrong let's suppose in here so you can simply say that uh, you can have that error in here and you will say uh, res dot status 201 maybe 401 sorry and that 401 dot json you can define that error in here so this is pretty much it or you can say why error or uh, message actually message will be invalid token so this should work now only thing is remaining is app dot listen that will take your port and if everything is right it should work control k i'll say npm start if everything is fine it should work i'll go quickly to actually i'll open the post uh postman i have a postman in here so i'll open the postman directly from here i'll say new request that will have a local host colon three thousand slash api slash i'll say oh uh, what was that token yeah that that should take a token so i don't have anything everything is hard coded so i should see result in here if i click on this so i got this token now uh i'll need a uh, you can use the uh, postman uh, separately as well uh, this is the inbuilt postman okay okay now you can use how do you open this new one new one i need this again postman yeah let's open the new http request and that request should have my authorization in here so you see you need to pass authorization like this this is your peer token where it goes i'll keep it i'll take it from here and i'll put it in here okay this is your peer token so oh sorry i'm not able to pick this i'll try to copy doesn't work in here i guess yeah it's working now so when i send this okay i should get the data that 
I used. So this is the data that I wanted. Name I have provided hard coded. You can have your post APIs in here. Uh, you can have your this data. Uh, of course, this will be dynamic data. Same for the login, logout, everything you can use. The code will remain same. There will be a two methods only. The first one is uh, sign in, which will take this, and the next one would be verify. Nothing else. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. Thank you so much, all of you guys, for being with me, supporting me all the time. It's been a pleasure to be here. Please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side. Definitely, I'll make it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already, and smash that like button if you enjoyed. See you soon in next video. Till then, tada bye bye. Thank you so much.